Yo, what is up guys, Super Zine here, welcome back to another video. So, uh, I uh, decided uh, I wanted to try and beat the Legendary Goku event uh, as fast as possible, or at least as fast as I could, and so this is it. Uh, the team I created was a GoBros team that I based off of uh, a video I saw from DBZ World where he beat the Legendary Goku event, like, really quickly, but he beat it quickly, uh, faster than me, but... I decided to use a, somewhat of the same team as him. Uh, I actually don't know if it's the same team as him. I, I just like looked at him and I was like, oh, I just looked at the video. I was like, oh, let me just create a team somewhere to that. So this is the video. This is my final take uh, of beating it. Uh, I had a few. I had to try a few times to get a pretty decent time, and uh, I got a pretty decent time of like nine nine minutes and like 19 seconds. Definitely not like the fastest, but like that's still like pretty good for a legendary Goku event. Most of the, you know, most time it's like usually a little bit longer. So yeah, this is a run in which I got uh, roughly nine minutes, and I thought it was pretty good. Uh, you'll see there are some strategies to doing this, um, including you need to use items in order to get the fastest time. You know, and no item run will take you a lot longer. But um, if you want, if you use items, you can get really, really fast. Uh, so the main, the main point of this whole team is to. Uh, center around the GoBros. Now the GoBros are still good to this day on Dokkan, which is pretty crazy because they're kind of a uh, relatively old unit. Not like super old, but they're still pretty old. So, you know, it's it's awesome that they're this good. And this team really only works in Legendary Goku event. I don't really think it will work well in any other event. I mean, it'll do pretty well, but like this team is mainly used for Legendary Goku event. Um, the main thing about this is we have two support types, basically. Oh, two or three support types. We have the Bra or Bola, whatever you want to call it. And then we have the that Goku you get from Super, ba super Battle Road. And then we have the uh, AGL EZA Goku, Super Saiyan Goku. Um, and then we have GoBros. We have, and then we have uh, LR Int uh, Gohan, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, the, first, the original LR. Uh, because it's actually pretty good, good for nuking. It's more like a, you know, it's pretty much like a glass cannon, uh, the Gohan, you know, because it'll hit hard, but, like, you can't take any, like, hits. And you'll see that I try not to get it to hit, get too many hits, because, again, it won't, you know, it won't take it very well. And then we also have the, uh, movie hero support type, Super Saiyan Gohan. I think he's, super, I don't know if he's Super Saiyan 2 or Super Saiyan. But, um, you'll see in each turn how, uh, I try to make sure that these guys are, like, linked up and also I try to make sure GoBros gets the most amount of key out of everybody because GoBros super attacks will do a lot of damage especially uh, on this type of team when he has a bunch of support types around with him it does a crazy ton of damage um, another thing is the items so I need to use as many like um, you know like support attack type items so that includes the uh, Bulma item there's two different Bulma items I use one that increases our attack and the other one that I think like changes keys or something or key spears and then I have the uh, the I don't know what it's called it's like guy's head from Dragon Ball Super and he attack increases your attack and also changes key uh, spheres and then we have the um, I don't know what it's called uh, oh takoyaki we have the takoyaki item and that one will change uh, key spheres and we need mainly use that uh, near the end of the near the end of this uh, event when we're fighting Ultra Instinct Goku and Master Ultra Instinct Goku, that's when we're going to use the most items, or most of the items, pretty much, because uh, that's like you know it's the end game. So you want to use as many to get as many uh, key spheres for GoBros, so that he can uh, get a ton of damage for a super attack. And you'll see he does a ton of uh, damage at the very end against uh, Master Ultra Instinct Goku. So and it's weird because you know it's like he has a type disadvantage, but he still does. A crazy ton of damage. You're gonna see it at the end of the video, but don't worry. Um, you can try this strategy at home. Just try to try to get this team, or at least a team very similar to this, and make sure you have my items. Don't you don't need the healing items that I have. I just had that because I was just trying to test out how fast I can go um, on this. But like in a real like situation of playing this event, you don't need the healing items. Just make sure your, your health will usually come back up, even if you take a lot of damage. Because these guys, you know. You know, you need a lot of key spheres for GoBro, so automatically you will get healed. Um, and, uh, yeah, then you just need to have those items that I have, and you can pretty much do this at home. Uh, also, all these characters are rainbowed, which just makes it, you know, a lot easier, but 
you could probably do this uh, without rainbow and get the same time as me if you're really proficient and good because the fastest time you can get like with this team is six minutes and I got nine minutes so if you are you know and that I'm supposed to get six minutes but because I'm they suck I got nine minutes so but if you don't have it rainbow you could still probably get the same time as me you just need to be more proficient with uh, the moose and you also kind of get a need to get a little bit lucky for the rotations you know you want to start off with a good rotation and continue going through that so make sure you have like go make sure you have go bros at the in first slot or second slot never put go bros, go bros in the third slot because then he won't uh, reappear the next turn so you make sure you have your go bros and the friend go, go bros sorry that's hard to say uh, in the first or second slot and uh, you know that's basically it so um yeah guys I, I'm recording this of course afterwards because I didn't know how many attempts it was going to take me to get a good time on this and I didn't want to have to keep voicing over the same old oh, hey what's up guys hey what's up guys you know I don't want to have to sound like a broken record so I uh, went ahead and recorded over this afterward after I get the, the good take uh, so yeah uh, enjoy Thank you. 